and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to give you a partial tour of our home and talk about the differences between American homes and Korean homes and also talk about what we found helpful to bring and not bring to Korea. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and my husband is stationed at Camp Humphreys. We live off post in the Asan area, so this video should be helpful for those moving to the Asan or Pyeongtaek areas located right outside Camp Humphreys. Before I get into it, I want you to know this is based on my personal experience in this particular home that we live in, and there could be some variations based on what home you find. Okay, let's start at the entry. This is the front door, and instead of an actual key like you would find in the US, we have a keypad where we punch in a code and it opens the door. Once we're inside, once we're inside, uh, the door automatically locks. We have this little entryway. Uh, we keep all of our shoes basically in here and it's traditional to take off your shoes before you enter the home. So normally people will just wear their socks or they'll have some slippers. That way we keep a lot of the dirt out of the house. And this isn't anything new for us. We did this before we moved to Korea, so this wasn't a really big change for us. Moving along into the kitchen area, we have a water filter, which is pretty common in most Korean homes. We have a regular size fridge, dishwasher, an oven, which is actually pretty small, smaller than one you would find in the US. Just to give you an idea of the scale, this is an eight by eight glass dish. And that's how big the oven is. Since our gas range is actually pretty smelly, um, even with all the windows open, we bought this induction cooktop. So we actually use this most of the time. We got that at E-Mart and E-Mart is kind of like the version of Walmart in the US. Uh, we have a regular size sink. Uh, sinks in the U.S. usually have a disposal where you can put food down it, but here we have a drain that catches all the food scraps and this little mesh liner you can find at Daiso or E-Mart. I'll show you what that looks like. This makes cleanup a lot easier. Korea also recycles, so we put all of our food scraps in this bin and then we put the bag out on special days. Depending on where you live, you'll have these special bags where you put your food scraps and your general trash and then the rest of it you separate out into what can be recycled. So your realtor, when I say realtor, I'm, I mean the person who acts as your liaison between you and your landlord basically. Uh, I know in the States that usually means that you're buying a home, but that's not the case here. So you'll have different colored bags depending on where you live and you can typically find those at the grocery store. This is what ours looks like. And you can get them in different sizes as well. So this would be the food bag. And this is our general trash bag. Moving over here, we actually bought this microwave and this little toaster oven, which I love because instead of turning the oven on and smelling the nasty gas, um, I will use this thing. And it's just big enough for the two of us. So it works out great. I think this is traditionally used to put a rice cooker on. And one thing that you'll notice is that there aren't any drawers in here. So we were kind of wondering, what are we going to do with our utensils, you know, our forks, our knives. But luckily we had this piece of furniture shipped with our household goods and obviously it has drawers. And that's where we keep our utensils. So we'll wear a little catch-all drawer. We also have these canisters where we keep our most used utensils. 
I think normally people probably use these canisters and put the silverware in there or I think sometimes they'll have like a little wooden box with a lid on it. So that could work too if you don't have drawers in your home like we do. Over here we have the laundry room. Luckily we didn't have to bring our own washer and dryer. These are on loan from the housing office. We also have underfloor heating. And I'm glad we brought our rugs because most Korean homes don't have carpet. We had our love seat recliner shipped with our household goods because we heard that Korean couches are hard and not very comfortable. So this tall white thing over here in the corner of the room is actually our AC unit and dehumidifier and there is an air filter, but it doesn't really filter out much of anything. It mainly filters out big pieces of dust. So the air quality in Korea can be unhealthy sometimes. So we have this air purifier, air filter, that measures PM 2.5 and Vox. PM 2.5 are tiny particles that can get trapped into your lungs and cause a lot of health issues. And then Vox are volatile organic compounds and they're found in household products and building materials. Moving on to the bedroom. First off in the corner over here, we have another air filter. And then over here we have a humidifier. So right now it is winter time and the air is really dry. And there have been a few times where I've woken up with nosebleeds, so we got a humidifier and that's been helping so far. And then we have a dehumidifier for the summer because in the summer it can get really humid here in Korea and that can cause mold growth and we don't want that, so that really helps. We had our bed shipped with our household goods and our bedroom furniture. But as you can see, we also have these built-ins. Here's what it looks like inside. And as I mentioned, uh, it can get really humid in the summer. So I like to periodically open the closet doors so that it can get some fresh air and ventilation. But we also buy these, um, Close dehumidifiers as well. Of course, you can find these at Emart, and they come in like packs of 12. So now we're gonna go upstairs to one of our spare bedrooms. We have another dehumidifier upstairs. Here is our spare bedroom, and this is a Korean style bed that came with the home that we're in. And as you can see, it's on this platform and then we have the mattress and we actually slept on this when we first moved in, when we were waiting on our household goods. And it wasn't that bad, but I'm definitely glad that we brought our own mattress in bed. This white box up here is an AC unit and we have those in every room. Some of the houses and apartments that we looked at didn't have an AC unit in every room, so we're pretty lucky that we found this house that had one in each room. Moving on into the bathroom. First off, you can see that there isn't a shower curtain, and that's because this whole room is designed to get wet. So you can scrub everything down, and then when you're ready to rinse, you just spray everything, rinse it clean, and it just goes down the drain. And we have these shower shoes that you can wear inside the bathroom. And another reason there isn't a shower curtain is because uh, in the summer, like I mentioned before, it gets really humid. So it would just grow a lot of mold and kind of just get in the way. So the room is designed to get wet. So there really isn't a need for one. Something else I want to point out is that we have dual voltage. So 110 and 220 options. That's not typical in Korean homes. Normally it's just 220, but um, I think they expected Americans to move into this community and 
they went ahead and had a transformer built in the house. So that's convenient. So this concludes the home tour. And just to recap, I'm glad that we brought our bedroom furniture, our bed, our couch, rugs. The things we didn't need to bring were our washer and dryer, lawn equipment. Even if you move into a house, your realtor will take care of the lawn maintenance. So you don't need to worry about bringing any of that stuff. And especially if you move into an apartment, you may not have the storage for any of that stuff. One thing I almost forgot to mention is that all of our walls have wallpaper on them. So we decided to leave our home decor and paintings and frames and things like that in storage. Because I personally didn't want to deal with the wallpaper ripping and us having to pay for it. But if you're really attached to your decor, you can get these, um, they're like these pens that kind of stick into the paper and you can hang light things or sometimes they'll have uh, railings that attach to the ceiling and then wires that come down and then you will put your frame on that. So that is something to keep in mind. I hope this was helpful for you if you're moving to Korea and if you have any questions you can leave them in the comment section below. Also if you live in a Korean home please share your experience in the comment section below so that others can find that information and we can all learn from it. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!